Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cos and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to provide you some tips on Windows Update in Windows 10 computers. So what you need to do is, uh, let's go into the, to, um, the beginning. I'm going to maximize the screen first. All right, so I'm going to click on the Windows icon here and then click on Settings. I'm going to click on Updates and Security. And under Windows Updates, as you can see here, this computer is configured automatically updates. And it's, it says you're up to date. The last check-in update is today at 7, um, 25 a.m. And if you want to check for updates again, you can just click on this check for updates to see if there's any, any new updates. Change active hours. What it is, is this is uh, considered your working hours. So the computer will not restart between these hours. So between 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. If the updates get installed, this computer will not get re rebooted or restarted. And if you want to change the time, let's so say you want to change it to 7 a.m. If you start working earlier, let's see, 7 a.m., click on the check button, and you want to change it to 6 p.m. So now between the six uh, between the seven a.m. and six p.m., this computer will not get restarted. So I'm going to click save. So that is the active hours. And the next thing you want to look at is the view update history. You want to see what has installed recently by Windows updates. Update history. Um, the last was installed is this, this patch KB4499167 and if you want to uninstall this update all you have to do is just go to uninstall options also there's recovery options available just click on that you can reset your computer so we'll go back to this um, recovery option in the next video let's go back to the updates and it has the definition updates uh, recently installed. As you can see, the the date has um, 526. These are the date um, when it was last installed. All the updates, malicious remote tools installed on the 515. Uninstall updates. If you want to remove a certain update, just say some updates are causing a problem, you can go to uninstall updates here. And you can highlight what updates you want to remove. Just click on it and then uninstall. Close this out. Let's go back. So that's it for the view update history. The next option is advanced options. Currently, it's by default, it's off. Give me updates for other Microsoft product when I update Windows. So that's include um, the .NETs. If you have any other components installed, that will get installed. Anything related to Microsoft updates. If you want, you can turn that on. Automatically download updates whenever metadata connection change may apply. So the updates will will automatically download if they had if it has a good connection. Just say if you're not if you're on Wi-Fi, it will not um, download the updates. And if you have a strong connection, it will download automatically. You can turn this on if you want. So what shows a reminder when we going to restart? If you want to see more notification by this restart, turn it on. So if you want see more um, more notification on the restart you can turn this on I'm going to turn it on pause update temporary pause updates 
from being installed on this device for up to 35 days. When updates resume, this device will need to get the latest update before it can be paused again. So if you want to pause the update, you can enable it. So this time, in the, I'm not going to pause the updates. When updates are installed, choose a branch readiness. There's two options here. Um, there's the semi-annual target. This is for the features update and the semi-annual channel. By default, um, this is the enterprise version, so it's semi-annual channel. You can choose other channels. <coughs> Feature updates include new capability. It can be deferred for many days. So any new updates you want to defer, just say Microsoft release an update today. And you don't want it to automatically install today. You want to defer for another, for five more days. You can just choose five days. So it will defer the next, um, the next five days. Qualify updates include security improvement. It can be deferred for how many days. So it's a similar, you can defer five days if you want. So that's the events option. And also there's um, delivery optimizations. This is mainly for the computer on the network here. You can have the computer download the updates from local network or PC on the internet. You can change that here if you want. Advanced options. So you can set limitations here. I'm not going to go um, configure this. So for example, download setting, you want to set the limit how much bandwidth is used downloading updates in the background. You can set to 45 days, so it will utilize only 45% of the network bandwidth. Here's other bandwidth you can configure. Limit how much update settings limit how much bandwidth is used to upload updates in other PC. So you can uh, limit the bandwidth for um, updating other PCs on the internet. Monthly bandwidth, you can figure the monthly bandwidth here. Just gonna leave that for now. Go back to settings, activity monitor. It just shows you the um, download statistics of the Windows updates. So from Microsoft, it's 1.8 gig. From PC on your local networks, 11. All right, so that's the active monitor. Going back to the Windows update window, Windows updates. It's just telling me that this device will restart outside of um, um, active hours. I can schedule restart. I'm sorry, I, I can restart now or I can schedule restart. It just says it recently updated um, two patches or one patch. This KB here. If I click on restart, it's going to restart. So that's it. That's the tips on Windows update for Windows 10. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel will cover SCCM, Office 365. Azure and anything related to applications deployment, Windows update, um, what else? Applications deployment, um, imaging, Windows imaging, um, Microsoft um, deployment toolkits. So I'm going to close this out. I'm just going to restart this computer right now since the update has installed. Restart now. 
thank you for watching and have a good day